Brother Kadash, Brother Kunan, we'll start off by giving our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, we're Kadash. This camp is on uh, salvation. We're going to jump straight into it. We was talking about salvation before camp, which I'm just going to speak about it openly, you know. Um, I seen an elder make a video, and he was talking about nationhood versus doctrine. And what he was saying is that you stay based off doctrine because little do he know if you're saying that the ones that don't have the correct doctrine is going to be destroyed, then that means that the ones that do have the correct doctrine is going to be saved. That you're basically saying that you're saved based on if you got the correct doctrine or not. And that's just not in the Bible, right? Yeah, so, that's so yeah, that's added to the word, you know what I mean? So it just proves he don't have 100% truth and it proves that um, he going off. Clearly, if he don't know that, something that, that simple, you know what I mean? What What is salvation based on? Faith and the law, statutes, and commandments. The good deeds are winning your bad deeds and having faith in the Lord. Because you show your faith, faith without works is dead. That's what salvation is based on. Salvation ain't based on how many times you read the Bible. It's going to be brothers that's going to be saved that ain't even read the whole Bible. So how can you be saved based on doctrine? You see what I'm saying? There's going to be brothers from all different type of camps that was living in different doctrines that's going to be saved. So salvation can't be based on those that got the wrong doctrine going to be put to death. No, that's not what salvation is based on. And that's very simple, but see, he knows that, but the camp shit, that camp demon, brothers be having camp demons on them, that shit start, and that power starts to get to your head, man. And it's pulling them to the dark side too much, right? So so let's so let's just go over some facts, right? You do not have to have a YouTube channel to be saved. You can hate me for speaking up and rebuking your elder all you want, but this is facts though. You have to agree. You do not have to ever made a YouTube video in your life to be saved. I don't care how many scriptures y'all want to pull and say, well, the Lord created the internet so we can spread the truth or whatever, but it's not a requirement for salvation. It's not a requirement for you to have read the whole Bible. Uh, maybe none of us have never read the whole Bible because there's so much stuff that's left out of the Bible. What we got, this is not the whole Bible, man. What we got, this right here, what the Lord gave us. This is not the whole Bible. Right. There's stuff that's left out, man. 100% left out. But that's a whole different conversation, right? Um, um, well, well, let's go over some more facts, right? Nationhood is definitely over doctrine, bro. He thinks that we can have multiple wives. I think, or somebody else thinks that we can't have multiple wives. Are we not supposed to still keep the law, statutes, commandments when, when it comes to each other? Look, the, com the, the covenant wasn't just me, between me and the Lord individually. The covenant was between all of us as a nation, the children of Israel and the Lord. So we have to deal with each other. We have to be a nation and come together over doctrine. Right? That's the same thing that kept bloods and crypts separated, doctrine. I'm talking about niggas that live on the same neighborhood. I'm talking about niggas... A blood gang lives on this neighborhood five blocks away as a crypt gang. And they grew up. These are the same exact people. But they separated based on what? Doctrine. Doctrine. Because this one wears blue. Look what they separate themselves off of. Color. This one likes the color blue better. This one likes the color red better. This one follows their leader. And then this one follows their leader that was all once one at one point of time. This one do 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 a crit walk. This one does a blood walk. They do they walk different. Listen to the shit, the dumb shit that that so-called black people allow to separate us. And it's the same thing in the truth. We're allowing if a brother can have multiple wives or not separate us. We're allowing if uh, Apostle Paul writings is a, a authoritative uh, or or if um, you can wear hats or not or if. Or if you wear garments with uh, long garments with fringes on it compared to t-shirt garments. We letting these things separate us. If the mark of the beast uh, physical or is it spiritual or is it both? Like, don't let them put no chip in you. And spiritually don't accept wickedness. It, it, bro, look at the shit we arguing about, man. That's keeping us apart. Right? So that's that same divide and conquer. Now, y'all so worried about agents. Esau don't have to send no agent or part no camp. We doing a good job being divided and conquered ourselves. Right. He don't even have to send no agents. 
We we are not a threat. We are law-abiding citizens. He saw it. We ain't no threat, man. Now let's go on the numbers. One third of Israelites in America is gonna be saved. That's the two-third doctrine. That's what we believe in. One third equals up to hundreds of millions of Israelites. If you talk about Native Americans and Latinas and blacks, so what they say is like 40 million black people. Just, that's just so-called black people in America. One third of that is like 15 million, right? So if you talk about billions of Israelites being saved, if you take all the camp members, all the people that ever call their stuff Israelites and put fridges on, you don't. we don't add up to 100 million people. So we still only eight, so that means that there's going to be a big percentage of people that's going to be saved that never even called themselves an Israelite, that never even put a garment on with fringes, that never even been a part of a camp. There's more Israelites that's going to be saved that are non-camp members than Israelites that aren't camp members. Deal with the numbers and deal with the facts, man. So just like that brother was saying on the, on the video, when Yahweh Shai, he's the light. Yahweh Shai is the perfect example to be like, right? So this is how you know you're going off or not. This is how will I do? So you can get in your feelings if you follow your man-made traditions and your leader and the man. But did you how will I do it or not? So let's go into some, some more effects and let's ask ourselves these questions. Did you how will I call himself GMS? Did you how will I call himself Sakari? Did you how will I call himself IULC? No. Can I say so? Did, oh, let me finish this thought. Did Yahweh Shai tell his followers to go join the camp called GMS because they going to have the truth in the end. They going to be the ones with the 100% truth. And go join their camp and go learn and teach for, and teach what they teach. No, he didn't say that. He never commanded us to do that. Okay. Yeah, no, just, just like a little side note. Like, did did Yahweh Shai run in a pack? Like, did he have a group of followers? Yes. What was that group called? They were Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> that's it. It's that, that's it. We're Hebrew Israelites. So like that brother said in that video, he said, look, we brothers. Now I respect that we brothers, but we teach doctrine similar to GMS. It's the same thing with us here. We don't, if the Lord is coming back and we don't care about no kid, no, no name, no brandy name, then why should we? He's the light. He's the perfect example. Well, we should strive to try to be light. Right? So I would say I'm, I'm being more like Yahweh Shai than a lot of you camp uh, members. Because your whole thing is based on group and camp. My thing is fuck the camps. Well, you might look down on me for saying fuck camps, but was Yahweh Shai about camps? No. No, I was going to say because they putting a the ceiling over themselves like you were saying. Because now they 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 trying to apply their group laws and statues and shit that they got within their group and then trying to put them in and then trying to merge them in with the house size law and that's where the disconnect is yeah. that's in my opinion yeah get that in revelations 22 at the end matter of fact that's a part of salvation we finna read it to you and break it down we gonna tell you how you guilty of this so you gotta watch out bro because you could be guilty is is your camp more important than your salvation I'm talking about the, uh, the attitude yeah. is your camp more important than your salvation is, is your doctrine more important than salvation? The Lord never said that you will be saved based on what doctrine you believe in. This ready? Yeah. It's Revelation 22. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Right, so when the elder GMS South Carolina, when he said that the ones that don't follow the correct doctrine are going to be destroyed, he added to the word because Yahweh Shai never said that. He didn't say if you don't if you don't follow the correct doctrine, your salvation is based on doctrine. You're going to be destroyed. No, because the elect going to be found with iniquity, so you're going to have camps with different doctrine and members from different camps that's going to be saved. But what's going to happen is, is the Lord is going to correct them. And then if you rebel against that correction, you're going to be destroyed. If you get down with it, then you can be saved. So stop the bullshit. Verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the word, from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life. Right. So when you separate yourself into a camp, right, 
Well, the Lord told us to gather ourselves together. When you just gather yourself together on the campus, you ain't gathering together with, he said, oh, nation desire. The rest of the nation, but if I get that real quick, that's not too from the top. Then you take it away from it. And you say not to do that. You going out there and teach people not to come together as a nation. And you said nationhood over doctrine is going off. Right? So now you've taken away from, from the word. Read that. Zephaniah 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation, not desire. Gather together, O doctrine. Or gather together based off doctrine. It said gather together, O nation. Oh, gather together, O group. Gather together, O camp. Gather together under GMS. No, it says gather together, O nation. That's the nation of Israel. So no, it's not just about, oh, it's just about elect, bro. You you don't know who the elect is, though. You can't just say, well, it's just only for the elect because you don't, you don't know who the elect is. So you got to go to the whole nation. You got to deal with the nation and then let the Lord decide who the elect is. It's not for you to decide who the elect is. I see y'all dudes, y'all on y'all channels all the time talking about who is the elect and who's probably not the elect. Then y'all put words in the Lord's mouth where well, the Lord going to destroy this guy and the Lord going to destroy this person if they don't wake up to the coffee. That's all words that you put in the Lord. The Lord never said that he was going to destroy this person. Uh -huh. The Lord can save who, who he wants to save. We all found what iniquity. The Lord can destroy any one of us. And he can save any one of us. So you telling the guy that the Lord going to destroy him, you put words in the Lord's mouth. Now you're adding because the Lord never said he was going to destroy him. I don't know if the Lord's going to destroy him or not. Don't know. Because we all guilty of something. So the Lord could destroy all of us. So y'all getting out y'all place. Y'all getting big headed. I want to say just because you're a part of a group and you got other men standing around you and they gave you a title of being a leader or something like that, that don't mean shit. It means something to you. Because if that's the case, then Yahweh being Yahweh and their group was one of the biggest groups. And they had leaders. They had captains. They had men. As a matter of fact, him himself, he thought he was Yahweh Shai himself. So just because he had man around him that was saying he was that, he had many men that were saying, yes, he is the Lord and Savior. Should we all believe in that just because he had man that put him in that position? No, so that proves that the position really don't mean shit mm -hmm. unless the Lord give it to you, not because other men give it to you, because of order or structure. All right, let's go. And that's, what, and that's what the camp demon is. You get a part of a camp, you get man, that start to promote you into a position of leadership, and then that camp demon, it gets in your head. You know what I mean? And then you start to forget what this is all about, and you start to forget the way that Yahweh Shai did you, right? Now you might say, well, the apostles, they had uh, positions and everything like that, but who were they dealing with, though? They were dealing with the children of Israel. Well, Yahweh Shai was rebuking the uh, wicked Pharisees but he wasn't just condemning them to death like y'all going to die. He was rebuking them so they could wake up and join him and follow him. He was correcting them. He was correcting them. That's the whole point of him even dealing with them. If he just wanted them to die, he would have just, he would never even sacrifice himself. He also, he didn't just sacrifice himself for the ones that followed him. He was sacrificial land for even the wicked Pharisees now. For them to repent and come back and have a chance to the come back. The nation. The nation. Not just the ones that... Only the elect, not just the ones that that um that was only the elect, not just the ones that was um that followed him, that he fed. No, he sacrificed himself for the nation. Even the ones that hated him, that didn't follow him, that said that 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 brought up those bogus claims of, of um, against him. He even sacrificed himself for them. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter one, verse sixty-seven. And his father, Zacharias, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord, the Lord God of GMS. The Lord God of Israel. Israel is what? A nation. So it is about nationhood, man. <laughs> For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Redeemed GMS members and people that, um, and, and people that follow GMS doctrine. His people. His people, man. Uh. Y'all think so small because you got the camp demon on you. It's not wrong with being a part of a camp, but it's about your understanding, man. You gotta, you, when you're a part of the camp, you gotta know and have that understanding in your mind that this camp shit don't mean shit. Verse 69. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in his house of his servant David. 
in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the land of all that hate us. That's what it's about, right? Our enemies are the other nations. We got to come together as a nation. Huh. Then our nation will be saved from them. You see what I'm saying? We, if we separate ourselves based on doctrine, which we have been doing, and we still, we in a worse position than what we was in the past, doing the one last time. We always going to be in the same position we're in right now. We would never be able to come together if we separate ourselves based on doctrine. We got to come together as a nation. So we coming together based on we are the uh, children of Israel. They know that we are children of Israel. We know we are children of Israel. That's enough for us to come together. Based off the fact that we brothers. Yep. We brothers. And, and that sisters. we know that. See now all the rest of the doctrine stuff, hey, uh, we do our, we wear garments with fringes. Y'all wear t-shirts with fringes. Hey, uh, we going to be corrected on the right way. This is a shadow of things to come. We are rehearsing the righteous act. We're going to be corrected when the Lord comes. Because they even get to a point where now, some of the elders, they even get to a point where now when they be out on the highways and byways, yeah, and they see they see a brother, they might see a brother who's not in the truth, who's still kind of in his little wickedness ways, who's still in his wicked ways, doing worldly things. Uh -huh. And they immediately exile them out. They don't even want to even give them the truth or not. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Like, they, it's it, it just automatically like, oh, yeah, he wicked. Yeah. yeah, get on. Yeah, I seen a brother saying that because he was like, um, he was like, we got the right to reject you. Okay, yeah, fine. But what did, well, why would you want to? But what did Yahweh Shai do then? It was Yahweh Shai just talking to you on, on, the, on the street for yeah. five minutes. You say something we don't like, go down the street. Or was Yahweh Shai going out his way? I mean, he sacrificed himself. They rejected him, not all Israelites, but the, even the Israelites that rejected him, that, that set him up to get crucified, he still sacrificed for them. Everything about time, and bro, I don't take this shit personal. It's not about my personal vessel. I'm gonna give a brother the truth. Like, if he feels type of way that you're rebuking against it, or I mean, like he fighting against it, that's cool. It might not be time. It might take him a month, three months to get what I'm saying. But I'm not taking it personal. Like against my vessel, I ain't, bro. This is the truth, bro. This is what it is. You don't see it right now, but you'll get it. Yeah, yeah and I don't hate my brothers because they not in the truth. Right. And I am. I will look at myself better than them. You see I, what I'm saying? Definitely it's, don't. It's like, okay, boom, he just not in the truth. The Lord just ain't woke him up yet. Like I, I, I heard a dude, like, it was GMS St. Louis, the leader down there. He was saying that he was he was on a video, and he was saying, yes, some of these dudes, I don't even look at them as Israelites. They not in the truth, and they just wicked, and they just do that. I don't even look at them as Israelites. And like, I'm not finna stop you calling these dudes Israelites. These dudes is not a part of my camp and following the doctrine that, that we learned from the elders. I don't even look at them as Israelites. Like, but it's not based on what you feel and how you look at them. The Lord looks at them as Israelites. You still got to keep the law, statutes, commandments when it comes to them. And one of those law, statutes, commandments is don't hold a grudge and don't have hate against your brother. Fine. Don't hate thy brother. So you guilty of that. Whenever you look at them as not even being Israelites. But the Lord, look, you see, so you look at it from your standpoint, your feelings. But the Lord said they Israelites. So that's the thing that the camps do is you get to go under this branding title name and then you get to separate yourself from other people. But what did the Lord say though? Uh, the next one. Uh, where are we at in that? In Revelation 15 at the top of what? Uh, yeah. It's Revelation 15 verse 1. And I saw another angel in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up with the wrath of the Most High. And I saw it as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the hearts of the Most High. Yeah. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of, of God, and, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. Right, so remember, like, that's about that came from, we read that in Exodus, the song of Moses, but it's the song of the Lamb, too. And it's the, really the song of salvation. It's really giving praise to, to the Lord for saving us. Sure. That's what that was really. We say, great, great is thy works. 
right and our salvation. Right? That's what salvation is about. We giving credit to the Lord, right? So read that last part that you read back again, because I want to pull something that, that come out this. Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, and thy and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. Great oh and great and true are thy works, the leader of my camp. <laughs> See, this is what we mean when we say all praises to Yahweh Shai by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That means all the praises go to the Lord. We not giving credit to this leader. We ain't giving the credit to the guy that came with the 12 tribes chart. How are we going to give credit to the guy that came with the 12 tribes chart when he got it from Ezekiel 37? So it still go back to the Lord. We got to give credit to the Lord. What does it mean all praises? Oh no, some, some of the praises. Okay, but we going to get some to Apostle Har. We going to get some to Bob, we're gonna get some to Bishop Nate. No, we give it all praises to the Lord, man. All of this belongs to the Lord. Yeah, Don't we not take credit? This belongs to me. Because if you have brothers that do that, they'll see us on the highways and byways, but they have part of the camp. Maybe like, well, if you don't want to follow the elders and you don't like the elders, then why do you got a 12 tribe chart out there? Well, why are you teaching the breakdown that we talk? Because it didn't come from it, it came from the Lord. The Lord could use a vessel to come out with some truth. That don't mean that he's well save that vessel. He can destroy the vessel. We'll just use the vessel to come out with the truth. The truth is the truth. The truth don't belong to you or your elder. The twelve tribes chart don't belong to no man on the earth. You gotta focus on the source. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? All praises, man. Verse two. And I saw uh, verse three, which just show they going off and they understand it. I'm just. Happy that the Lord blessed us with an elevated, um, uh, elevated understanding. We still in uh, 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 Jeremiah 30, verse 7. At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Mm -hmm. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves. Right there, so that's what we focus on. Coming together as a nation, so these, these, these other nations can't serve themselves. The more we divide and conquer, then they then they gonna have power over us. So we gotta follow law special commandments. What's what's a part of law special commandments? Coming together as a nation. That's what the law special commandments is about. Us dwelling to it's laws on how we deal with each other as a nation. From brother to brother, household to household. That's all the law special commandments is. And how and our connection with our Lord. That's all they are, man. So these other nations got power over us because they looking at us like, oh, the black Hebrew Israelites. They not even combined together. Look at them. They all fighting against each other over doctrine. They this easy. And then you got vocab alone. He can sneak in and then get these Israelites on his channel to talk about these Israelites and this and that. Because what they hanging over us is this doctrine thing. So vocab alone, he'll he'll find some Israelites with different doctrine, get them on his show to go against the Israelites that he got a problem with. Because huh. this doctrine carry. It's keeping us divided. And Esau sent back like, look, we got them. They arguing over doctrine. They won't come, but they won't come together though. While they over, while they over here arguing over this Bible and over doctrine, the Bible is very important. We just gotta follow it. The Lord never told us to, hey, separate yourselves in groups and argue over doctrine. The Lord never said that, man. So while they over here arguing over this doctrine, guess what? We finna raise taxes on the asses. We finna get this jump shot on the asses. We finna get those MOTB on their asses. You see what I'm saying? We finna infiltrate them. You see what I'm saying? Um, we finna take down uh, their high schools, their libraries, their schooling systems. We finna take everything from these people and keep our foot on their neck. And the Lord and everything, the Lord controls good and evil. So really, it's the Lord that's doing this. Because we won't follow what he said. So, hey, y'all been one, from one West Camp to, to today, y'all been doing the same thing. GMS is doing the same shit when West was doing the same order, the same structure. And we get the same results. We're still in captivity with the curses on us. Mm. 
Verse 9. But they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king, whom I raised up unto them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to that. But did it say serve your camp leader? Which is not even a Judite. So David is a Judite. But the way but the way y'all get around that is y'all say, okay, well, um, well, King Masha, he he not he not GMS. But y'all say, okay, well, our elders used to follow him and he's King David. So that represents us as the house of King David, because who's King David then you the house of King David? When you when the leader of your camp is not even a Judite. So let's stop the bullshit. We see through all your bullshit, bro. We see through the well, we got a hundred percent doctrine, but hey, we don't debate. Because we don't want to be proven that we don't have a doctrine. We see that. We see what the MOTB is the chip, and we the only one saying it. So when it comes, we can be vindicated from all the other wrong shit we said, and then we can be vindicated and raise our hand high and say, look, we told y'all about the MOTB, and that could vindicate us. We get all your little plays. It's just don't nobody care about y'all. See what I'm saying? Because that's like, that's like the Lord telling us, right? We see it all throughout the scriptures, the Lord telling us to gather ourselves together. You see what I'm saying? But then... We we got we got camps who who telling um uh, who doing videos and putting videos out there saying that oh yeah no don't 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 unite we're not we not going to unite with the other camps because they doctrine different than ours you see what I'm saying so at that point that's when they go against what the Lord's saying you see what I'm saying this is Romans eight I'm gonna start at verse twenty eight it say uh, and we know that all things work together for good. To them that love the most high. So all things, right, it said, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the most high. So it's a good thing for us to unite. You see what I'm saying? So that's why it's in the scripture. That's why Zephaniah chapter 2 where it said, gather ourselves together, O nation not desire. That's a good thing. That's what the Lord wants us to do. It's a reason why he's telling us to gather ourselves together because it's 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 the way of the most high. So it's, it's, it's something that should be done. You see what I'm saying? Um, to them who are called according to his purpose. You see what I'm saying? The whole nation, yeah, you got the elect inside of the, the elect nation. You see what I'm saying? But the whole nation, um, um, it starts with us coming together, right? Because you got to think, uh, you got to look at it like this. The, one, the ones that's in the truth, right? The ones that's out here pushing this truth, you know what I'm saying? We 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 will be considered the leaders of the rest of the people that's not. So so we gotta give people something to follow and something to go off of, a foundation. Because if they see us fighting against each other, they just gonna be like, oh, this is the same shit we've been seeing with games. See what I'm saying? So he now he he hitting on something very important. So what we arguing about is our start. Right. Do we start off doctrine or start off nationhood? We have to start before we even can get the doctrine, we have to come together first. And that's what y'all, that's the part y'all missing. Y'all saying we got to get the same doctrine first, then come together. We saying is no, we got to come together first, and then get the same doctrine. We ain't never going to come together if we got to get the same doctrine first. So how do you get the same doctrine? You really being um, counterproductive. You really get the same doctrine by coming together first. Yeah. But y'all don't even see that. Y'all ain't, y'all don't understand shit. When you talk about one West camp in the, in the original, this was men that had to come together first, and they had to figure it out and put it together first, the doctrine. Yeah, and another thing I said, because I don't know if you heard me, I said, now, so in the Bible, for that, um, uh, I said, so in the Bible, God tells us to come together. But then you got these elders of these camps arguing with the brothers who trying to come together. If they see two two different camps building, you know, they're doing unity camps and they got, even even if, like, like you have, like, for, uh, for instance, let's say Sakari and Wafa, they, did, they yeah. did a unity camp, right? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? They did a unity camp, boom. And so, now you got the elders saying, like, look, they're going off because they doctrine are the same. Now, they know that they don't got the same doctrine right. at certain points. But they still decide to come together. So now, at that point, the ones that's that's rebuking those and then pushing that that um that energy out there that they going off and that they shouldn't, then now you going against what the Lord said yep. directly. Yeah, because a saying? lot of those guys, a lot of those elder guys, are not going to make it because the Bible talks about um, new wine and old bottles. I need to find that one. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of those guys, other guys, are not going to make it. The same thing as like with uh, Moses. And um, Exodus, a lot of those elder men, they didn't make it to the land. The younger man made it to the land. Moses didn't make it to the land. He's seen it, but he didn't make it to the land. You see what I'm saying? A lot of these older guys, they played their part to come 
and they and they play their position by giving us knowledge of the 12 tribes chart and these different breakdowns but a lot of them not gonna make it it ain't for them to make it and that's the sad truth about it and they don't want to admit it. you know when you go to the scripture where where it's talking about um new wine and old bottles let me see if i can find it of course it's convenient for them to say well yeah but that's not talking about us though no it's talking about y'all man yeah. who else is it talking about nobody wants anything bad to be talking about them yeah, they exactly. don't want to accept it but see that's the great thing about most he accepted it. that okay i ain't gonna make it there to the king he had to accept it. he did all this work moses did all this great work man that no other man really could do something y'all was shy and he still didn't make it it's hard to it's hard to um to just accept that right This is Matthew 9, verse 17. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles. So the new wine, y'all said y'all got 100% truth. That's a um, that's a stumbling block in a, in a, um, in a root, a ceiling that the Lord put over y'all. So now y'all can't grow or change nothing about your doctrine. Because you already got 100% truth. If you change something, then you ain't have 100% truth when you was claiming it. So that's the whole point of neither do men put new wine in old bottles. Y'all not putting new wine. This is talking about y'all, the old bottles. Right? So... What it does is it's like, now the Lord, you you saying that the Lord can't come with nothing new. Well, the Lord coming with something new, which really is old. It's us coming back together, but you can't get it because you got old bottles stemming back to old Will West. Uh -huh. A separation based off doctrine and fighting and warring against each other. And every other day I got to make a YouTube video rebuking somebody so I can get some views. And everybody can come under my post and say, good job, elder. That was a good, uh, yapa, yapa lesson, elder. Yapa lesson, elder. You see what I'm saying? And that was a good breakdown of separation based off doctrine and and, separate, and all this shit. But you ain't getting a new right. spirit. Yeah. Right. And only y'all care about that shit. And that's what we don't care so about that shit. <laughs> and what makes that so wicked is because it, it becomes a pride then. And the, and the Bible talks about prideful people. You see what I'm saying? Because now at that point, because the Lord gonna reveal the truth to you in, in different ways. So like, if you thought you had a right breakdown, right? All of these years, whether you thought you had it for 10, 15, 20 years, and then boom, the Lord revealed to you. Like boom, that wasn't right, it's right here. Even if it's a little bitty, little small thing, he still revealed it to you. And you still standing on that old shit, even though like you know, instead of coming out like, damn, okay, um, yeah, I was wrong. You see what I'm saying? You standing on that? That's that's what makes sense. But that's the pride because yeah. um, GMS South Carolina, if I tell him and redo come and say he's going wrong, he can't hear it because it's pride. Well, yeah, exactly. But if Apostle Jahar come and say, no, you was wrong on that, then he'll hear it. Yeah. That's the pride because the Lord may not use Apostle Jahar to reveal something to you. He might reveal, he might use me, some random guy in some other town to, to come on your comment board and rebuke you. But you ain't seeing it because you looking at it respective of persons, man. The same problem I had with GMS, GMS St. Louis, respective of persons, right? And this goes, this goes perfectly into it right here, right? Because you ain't looking at it like, okay, well, then maybe that's where the spirit wants. Brothers coming together, unity camps, camps coming together as one. The Lord putting that spirit out there. The Lord controls everything, right? You ain't looking at it that way. You looking at it as, uh, you, they, you ain't getting a new wine. You an old ass bottle and you ain't accepting that new wine. And what it says, neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottle break. So when that new wine, that new spirit coming in you, your bottle breaking open. It says, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. So the Lord telling you through the scriptures that, look, he ain't putting that new wine, that new spirit in these old heads, in these old bottles. Because right. it's, it's just going to burst out. It's going to go in one ear and out the other ear. Because they stuck in their ways. The Lord said, I'm putting this new wine into these new bottles, these young men that's coming. Right. I'm putting this new spirit of them coming together as one unity camp. Because the light and the facts is, is the Lord don't get no fuck about no camps, right? And, and that's not of the Lord, these different camps. So the Lord, like, okay, it's time to do away with these camps. Now, I need y'all to come together as one. But things happen a certain in a certain way with unity camps and then eventually those camps might bond together as one camp but you get in the way of that so it's not for you old heads as far as young dudes it's stay out the way shut your mouth keep doing what you're doing if you see the lord putting the spirit on us to start doing unity camps and stuff like that just stay out the way and see what happens if it's not of the lord it's going to come to an end you're going to see a lot of folly from it.
If it is from the Lord, then it's going to blossom. Just stay out the way and let it happen. Put it in the Lord's hand. Uh -huh. But you can't do that because you're scared that if we come together, it's going to shed a bad light on y'all. And all y'all worry about is y'all camp that camp meeting y'all got on y'all. Yeah. Um, you got that much percentage. You got that. I mean, that was it on the, uh, the pieces because I had just brought up. Oh, okay. Mind. You got anything else to say? No, that was it. So, yeah, you know, that's just the truth. You know what I mean? Like, we got to get uh, past that shit. We stronger together than, than separate. We got to come together as a nation. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, when you're looking at these old heads, you know, sometimes with these old heads that be on YouTube, I just be laughing a lot of times when I watch their videos. Because yeah. I know they only doing it to get some clout, and I just be laughing because they them old bottles. Who's the old bottles? All the old bottles, that, all the old men that's all saying, well, I'm not the old bottle. That's not me. I'm not. Everybody's saying that's not them. So who is the old bottles? It's y'all, man. Y'all not going to get it. It's going to be a new thing that's going to happen, man. I'm going to say it right now. Young brothers are going to come together, and they're going to be putting that camp shit to the side, and they're going to start coming together to uh -huh. follow the Lord, man. Because uh -huh. we tired of it. We see what the whole camp divided off doctrine shit has done for many years. We see what it does to y'all. Y'all just keep going separated with the curses on y'all and just and, and people keep falling out to camps and then you condemning them and if another brother get a revelation, well, you not in position to get a revelation. The Lord can't give you a revelation. This got to come from, apostles, from the apostles. And then y'all kick them out and they separate and they make you camp and then they banging against each other. It's the same thing over and over again. You got anything more? You know, that's it. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukai Production.